Okay, Jürgen, congratulations. That was a, a great match for you. Yes, it was. I mean, after we have played, it was the third match we have played this year, and I lost two really tough ones, uh, two tough ones to swallow in Miami and in Barcelona, twice being a setup, losing the second set in the breaker. So I wanted to, to get back on him today, and, and I did. And it was also a tough first set, and then being break up, he was coming back. So I was thinking, no, not again, please. But I kept my focus, and I won the match. So what was the difference this time around? He seemed uh, a bit rattled sometimes. Well, it's, I think it's belief. It's the most important thing. I told myself, OK, whatever happens, just, just try and, and be positive, and, and you have enough game to beat him. So just go out there, and then when it's tight, try to do it. And today it worked. And he seemed to get under his skin a little bit. He was getting a bit frustrated, and then he had an injury timeout. And so I guess you won the war in the end. Well, yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, at the end, it's a question of how you find a way to win. And I mean, he, after the first set he lost, he had a l four or five set points. So he took, he took an injury timeout. Then I thought, OK, maybe it's, he's really hurt. And then all of a sudden, 3-2, he's running. So I never knew what's, what's going on. But, but still, it's, it's just f keeping the focus, trying to play your best tennis when it counts. And I did when it was 3 all in the second set. And with a win like that, does it give you kind of confidence that you can progress even further here? Well, hopefully. I mean, of course, it gives a lot of confidence beating a top 10 guy, even though, uh, although you have lost to him twice before. And now beating him, it's, it, it, it's a boost. And, and hopefully, I mean, I can, I can use that confidence in the quarterfinals tomorrow.